Good morning, everyone. Welcome and come on in and find a seat. Welcome to our online viewers as well. A couple of years ago, I just kind of stepped out in faith and I bought a lemon tree. And I tried to get it to live outside on my back deck and it just didn't like it back there. So this winter when I brought it in, I just put it in a place where it got sunlight and I remembered to water it and everything. It just didn't do a whole lot. And I just kept taking care of it and nurturing it and nurturing it. Well, I think it just needed some underground work done, you know what I'm saying? The roots just needed to do things and it needed nutrients. And this spring it bloomed and I have a lemon on. And I was so excited about that little lemon. Well, you know what? God has planted some of you in some hard places where maybe at first you didn't get the water you needed, you didn't, your roots weren't going where they needed to, and it might have seemed like a dark season, but I think this word is for somebody today, it's going to bloom. You're going to bloom. It's going to produce what it needs to, where you are, where he's planted you. Things are going to change. Psalms um, says, he, and he should be like a tree planted by the streams of water that bring forth its fruit in due season, whose leaf does not wither, and who whatsoever he does shall prosper. Don't be discouraged that it's taken a while for you to get planted and rooted in where you needed to be. The fruit is coming. Okay, he is gonna prosper you, he's gonna bring you forth. All that needed to take place because you needed to be able to withstand the heat. Yeah? You gotta grow those deeps down, uh, sorry, roots down deep enough to get to the source. Yes. And now that you're at the source, the fruit is coming. Yes. Okay, look up, the fruit is coming. Yes. You will stay fresh and green planted in the house of the Lord. Your roots growing down deep in his presence. He's the living one. He's risen from the dead and he's alive forevermore and he's here. He said, whenever two or three come together in my name, there I am. Jesus is here. He is here and he welcomes you. And he's reminding you with a word from my wife uh, that she's perceived from him that you are rooted and planted in him. And even in the unseen times, your roots are growing deep. He's taking care of you. He's nourishing you. And you're gonna grow and produce fruit. We believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What he said, he will do. He's going to bring it to pass. You are going to produce fruit. You are going to be healthy and wise and full and strong and giving and releasing the life of God because Jesus is in you and you are connected to him because... We're connected to him because Jesus paid it all. Completely complete. When he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. It is done. Nothing whatsoever more needs to be done to pay or purchase your redemption. It is finished. It is paid. It is done. Stand with me, church. It's in Psalm 111, verse nine. His forever love paid a full ransom for his people so that now we are free to come before Yahweh to worship his holy and awesome name. Yes, Papa, we are coming before you by the blood of Jesus, the price already paid for us. That is our confidence, the price you paid, the blood of Jesus. That is our confidence, we are coming before you. Holy Spirit, help us now to give our whole, full, complete attention on Papa, on Jesus, and to abandon ourselves and to give you the glory you are due, living one. 